Namaste all, this is Dr. Mansi. Welcome to my channel Plant Passion 16. In this video, I will be sharing some beautiful flowering hanging basket plants. First on the list is the Spanish shawl or the hanging melastoma, rock moss or the trailing tabuchiana. This is the native of Central Africa. The bloom is a beautiful pink flower but unfortunately it is non-fragrant and just lasts for a day. Isn't that a beautiful flower with yellow stamens? It requires well-drained soil when planted in the hanging pots. Otherwise it is mostly used as a ground cover. It requires medium to bright shade for flowering but no issues when it is grown on the soil directly. The propagation is through cuttings. Whenever the node touches the soil, it sets out root and produces the new plant. Second on the list is the Apicia or the flame violet. It requires a very well drained soil. It prefers medium to bright light. The leaves of this plant comes in various shades of dark green to copper green leaves. Even the flowers come in different shades of pink, orange, yellow and red color is commonly seen in the plant lover's garden. It is best suited as a ground cover. It even covers the walls. It is native to Brazil and Colombia. I have two varieties of this plant. One is the copper leaves and one with the green leaves. It is easily propagated through cuttings. Even a small piece if fallen on the soil or any surface, it just set roots and it starts growing. I love this plant because it covers the whole basket. Next is the Hemigraphis or the Waffle plant. Also known by the names Red Ivy, Red Flame Ivy. I would say it is a thirsty plant. It requires watering regular watering I would say or the soil should be moist but not soggy. Prefers medium to bright light in the direct light, direct sunlight the leaves may scorch. It is prized for leaves but I love the white star shaped tiny flowers on this plant. See how beautiful they are. The leaves are of metallic shining and they can be easily propagated through cuttings. Next is the blue days, the wonderful blue flowers, one of its kind. We call them as Vishnu Kranta in vernacular language. It is native to Brazil, Bolivia. Even this plant makes a good ground cover, but I love it in the hanging basket. It is not a fuzzy plant at all. The plant easily grow through cuttings. It can tolerate full sun and it requires well drained soil. According to me, this one is a low maintenance plant. The blue days. Next is the pigweed or the pink purslane or portulaca pilosa or the shaggy portulaca. This is a small variety of portulaca. The leaves are needle shaped, very tiny and the flowers are pink, small up to 0.5 centimeters. But in some favorable conditions, the flowers may grow up to 1 centimeter. The seed formation and dispersal is so fast that it can grow anywhere in the soil as a weed and it might prove invasive. Next is the beautiful oxalis or the butterfly plant which we call or the purple shamrock. It is prized for the purple foliage but it produces amazing mauve colored flowers. These bulbous plants require very rich soil and watering only after the top soil is dry. Requires medium to bright light. Direct light may scorch the leaves. Soil should be well drained. Many a times due to our negligence or overwatering or underwatering might damage the plant. 
Next is the portulaca. This is a double colored portulaca with the needle shaped leaves. Very, very beautiful plant. Easily propagated by cuttings. The plant requires full sun to bloom. This plant can grow in any type of soil, but soggy soil always damages the plant. So, better to have a well drained soil. So, this video was about some permanent flowering hanging basket plant. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.